Daniel Dubois has a hit list. It consists of his fellow countrymen, Derek Chisora and Dillian White. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Let's get it. Boxing scene, link will be in the description. Uh, I noticed uh, Danny Dubois says uh, he uh, wants a step-up fight, someone like Chisora or White. Uh, first and foremost, um, let me say this about Danny Dubois. I held him in very high regards. Um, I really like this young man coming out of uh, the UK. Uh, he had all the tools. He has all the tools. Um, he has size. Uh, he, he's uh, very light on his feet. Respectable power. He has a, um, you know, I know he looks like a little boy right here, but he has a menacing look. All the tools in the world. And um, I was excited to see uh, what, what happens with him. I was very excited, man. I was like, man, you know, this kid, here we go again. We got another, it, it looked like we had another specimen. And then he got in there with Joe Joyce. Remember, slow robotic moving Joe Joyce. And, um, you know, it didn't work out. Yeah, he was running into a jab. I'm like, what's happening? You know, um, and he, some people say he quit, you know, or the rest stopped, whatever, man. He, he couldn't continue. His eye looked bad. And a lot of people just wrote him off and said, you know what? There goes Danny Dubois. Throw him in the trash, right? Well, you know why I'm not going to do that to him? Here's why I'm not going to do that to Danny Dubois. Dynamite Danny Dubois. It's boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, people lose. I want to know, is this young man failed forward? Y'all know what that means? You fight, you lose, you learn, you come back. Lennox Lewis was on a roll. Oliver McCall. You talk to Lennox now, he says, man, that, that, that mistake was repaired before I left the ring. And it took him a while. He, you know, went to the coach changes and everything else. But he couldn't wait to get that back. And then he's on a win streak, and then late, much later on, Hasim Rahman, and that was corrected before he left the ring too. And he got he couldn't wait to get that back. That's why I respect the hell out of Lennox Lewis. He ended up no smoke, and whenever he made a mistake, he wanted it back. So is Daniel Dubois cut from that cloth? cloth? Well, he didn't quit. He took a soft touch coming back on the Jake Paul undercard, and. Uh, he fought Trevor Bryan and stopped him. You know, oh, but sidebar, he's he's um, suing Don King for the rest of his money. Um, I'll report on that when uh, I get more facts surrounding it. I know they have an article around it, but, you know, once again, Don King involved in some controversy. Um, I'll report more on that as it comes, but good luck to him. But, you know, we're not going to jump off a... Uh, his bandwagon you know what let's not say it. let's not call it a bandwagon let's just call it support bandwagon is a bad word in sports that means you like them as long as they are on top and then when they start losing you just disappear no 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 that's not what this is this 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 young man is respectable very respectable okay and um look man he lost early that happens. Bernard Hopkins lost, what, his first or second pro fight? What if he said, man, boxing ain't for me? What would we have done? This is boxing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to see him back in the saddle. Hopefully, you know, he's learned from uh, his loss. It's called failing forward. We learn. That's what we do. We're human beings. All right? So, I mean... The Klitschko's. <laughs> That's perfect. Did y'all forget that Vladimir, I'm sorry, Vitaly Klitschko lost to Chris Bird. Did y'all forget that? He quit on the stool, said, yo, man, I'm trying to hit this guy so hard, I threw my shoulder out. And I remember HBO saying, oh, that might be the end of uh, the Klitschko's. No. Vitaly came back with a vengeance. He's beating the shit out of everybody. 
ran into Lennox Lewis. He fought with a lot of heart, but, I mean, you know, he didn't get the win. He got stopped by way of a, of, of a cut, a bad one. But you get the point. He didn't quit. Vladimir Klitschko. Corey Sanders happened. Everyone's like, oh, man, that's the end of the Klitschko. And although he didn't run it back with Vladimir, no one held him accountable for that. He had to get Big Bro to beat him. I say it jokingly, but, you know, it's true. It wasn't over for Vladimir. He just lost. He came back. So I'm not writing off Daniel Dubois. I'm not doing it. Let's see what happens. So now he's calling out his fellow countrymen, Derek Chisorba and uh, Dillian White. Link is in the description from Boxing Scene. It says here, Daniel Dubois left Miami with a secondary belt and tow and, uh, and a mandatory title shot in his pocket. He has a mandatory title shot. Still, he believes there's work to be done before reaching a point of full satisfaction in his career. So he's being realistic. Okay, the British heavyweight is one of several top contenders awaiting the outcome of the Alexander Usyk Anthony Joshua uh, uh, rematch. Uh, the show also includes IBF title eliminator between unbeaten heavyweights Philip Herkovich, who's a, a contender himself, and Zhang Lei. Zhang Zale. I've watched this guy. This guy's from China. Um, nothing explosive, but um, I'm interested to see how that fight plays out. I'm gonna pick Philip for the win, but let's see. Um, which will leave a third mandatory challenger um, eyeing a shot at the unified crown. Dubois is a WBA world titleist, while his countryman and lone conqueror Joe Joyce is a WBO mandatory. While there is a, uh, the temptation to avenge his lone defeat, there are other quality domestic matches that he feels can help properly prepare him for such a moment. I want a step-up fight, a real fight, Dubois told uh, ID Sports. Uh, someone like Derek Chisora or Dillian White. These are guys I need to fight next, in the next step in my career. These are the guys that will give me a battle, test my chin out. I want to give the fans excitement, settle a few things out, and get it on. You know, link will be in the description. You can read it yourself. Um, but I like how he's talking. Um, it says at the bottom here, he says, uh, once I get through guys like Dillian White and those guys, those are the fights that will get me ready for a rematch with Joe. See, I like how he's thinking. He's admitting, Yo, look, I'm not there yet. But guys like Chisora, who's now like a journeyman. Guys like Dillian White, who, let's just face it, he's a journeyman now. Those guys are getting him where he needs to go with a rematch with Joe. But what I like is that he's talking about a rematch with Joe. He's not ignoring it like it didn't happen. And by the way, you don't reserve that uh, um, that privilege. You get the wrong color, Daniel. So I'm glad you understand that much at least. Because no matter how far he gets, he could very well in three years be undisputed. Everyone will bring up Joe Joyce. Remember, Vladimir Klitschko was knocking over trees. And Corey Sanders stopped that. And no one was talking about him rematching him. Remember, Vitaly ran it with uh, 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 Corey Sanders. And, and rest in power to him, he lost his life on some nonsense. Had nothing to do with him. He was, uh, whatever, whatever. But rest in power to Corey Sanders. So y'all get the point. Okay? He also says, I need to be riding high in confidence and belief. He's no slouch. He's a top fighter. I need to raise my game, raise my confidence, and I'm heading in the right direction. Okay? He's talking about Dillian White and uh, 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 Derek Chisora. So I like what he's saying, man. This young man is down to earth. Um, he has a high skill set. I think the loss happened early in his career, the situation with his eye. I think that um, that was a learning experience. Um... And he's taking it slow. I don't know if he's changed his corner. I haven't done that much uh, research on what he's done with his corner. Um, if anything, um, I hope he gets what he was promised and as far as Don King was concerned, doing business with that man. But uh, let's see what happens with Daniel Dubois, man. I, 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 you know, I like the heavyweight division, of course. Um, and he's still fresh, man. Get that loss out the way. Um, you know, 
I think you'll do pretty good fighting your countrymen. And, uh, you know, you're talking about getting that get back against uh, Joe Joyce. And that's all I need to know. But let's see what happens, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Salute to Danny Dubois, Bronx on deck. Move!